This is on trail day number 134. It is Tuesday, November 17th of 2020. Stayed last night here at the Bryant Ridge Shelter. It's a really nice shelter. At the water source right over there. Fire pit and a picnic table. And then the privy is a trail that goes under where that tree's at. Up around the corner there. I had my hammock. Well, I have my hammock hung right here in the shelter. No one here last night but me. And then there's also an upstairs section. Would be nice in the summer. It's got the open ends for breeze. I already got my breakfast done. There was somebody left one of these big 440 gram canisters, and this sucker's probably half full still. So I had uh, was able to thoroughly cook my rice side. Had some hot chocolate and decaf coffee after dinner, and then cheese grits with bacon uh, bits for breakfast with coffee and hot chocolate non-decaffeinated in the morning and a little bit in my fuel can will definitely be enough for two more dinners so I'll do 13 miles today and then roughly 13 tomorrow and then that leaves like a four or five mile trek into Daleville the next day so hopefully then I get some new shoes and my feet will start feeling better so just going to do 13 miles for the next two days, kind of take it easy on the feet, and then hopefully you can pick it up after Daleville, so we'll see how that goes. This is one last look from the outside of the Bryant Ridge Shelter, where I stayed tonight. And it's the bright and early time of 11.30 a.m. There's two things keeping me from doing big mile days. The fact that my feet are killing me after 10, and the fact that I don't get up early and get out of camp. If I can resolve those two issues, I could knock this southern portion out in another month or so. I'm pretty confident I can resolve the foot problem by this point. I don't know about the getting up early. It's funny, I'll wake up early at the crack of dawn on a day that's cold and windy. But on a day that's nice and warm, Or I could just get up and start hiking. I'll sleep the morning away. Oh well. I've been like that most of my life. I don't reckon I suspect it changed that much now. <laughs> my feet feel pretty good right now. They usually do in the morning. And then after a couple of miles, my heels start bothering me, and then... After 10 or so, they really start bothering me, so... 13 to do, so... That'll be about perfect. I got a little downhill and then have about a thousand foot climb and then there's another two thousand foot climb and most of the rest of the day is fairly flowy it appears from the elevation profile so it shouldn't be too tough of a day.
could get the camp right at dark or shortly thereafter. Made it to the top of Fork Mountain, which was our first climb of the day. It was nice and switchbacked until the last little bit. It was just kind of straight up the ridge line. It's kind of wooded as far as the view goes. There's a camp spot it says up here. Probably put a ten or so there. I know you could put a hammock up. Right. I think we got right at eleven miles left. My feet's feeling pretty good at the moment, but. I've noticed like yesterday had a good bit of downhill. That's when my heels hurt. And then like this morning they're coming uphill. That's when the pad of my feet behind my toes hurt. And I guess it's because when you're going downhill you step more with on your heel. And uphill is vice versa. Um, either way, I think it's time to retire the Chacos. A little windy up here on the ridge. So come out here at this road at Jennings Creek. It's quite a busy little road. There's been there's several cars that came by when it's coming down. You can see the blaze on the guardrail and then the other blaze over there. So we we'll have to cross the creek and then pick up the trail somewhere on the other side. Got a nice little parking area though. It says in the guidebooks, there's good swimming holes here. Fortunately, it hasn't gotten too cold for swimming. But yeah, on a hot summer day, Spot right out there would be nice. Oh well. And there's the trail on the other side. I think now we're about to start our 2,000 foot climb. It's not a straight 2,000 foot, it goes up like a 1,000 foot and then levels off a little and then goes another 1,000. Now here's a small little view spot. Up on this cold windy ridge, almost to the Cove Mountain Shelter, which is where I was planning to go yesterday. But Glad I didn't. I may stop there and take a break. Depends on how close to the trail it is. So this is the Cove Mountain Shelter. Pretty typical. A nice picnic table. Fire ring with a grill. And looks like a fairly new privy over there. Well, not bad, but definitely some wind here so foot pain aside last night definitely turned out to be a better place for camping but 
I'm going to take like a 20 minute break, have a snack, and then continue on for the day. Right, so break time's over. I decided to leave my hoodie on. I'm about to freeze. This wind is horrible. It's only 1,400 foot of ascent in the next six miles, and 800 foot of it in the next two. So. I think I'll need my hoodie. <laughs> if I get it sweaty, it's alright. I got a puffy and a wool undershirt. Can put on later. But yeah, the Cove Mountain Shelter would have been horrible for camping last night. If it had been this windy. Much with it being up on this ridge top like this, I imagine it probably was. So it's 3.30. We've got just a touch over six miles. So it won't be too far after dark. Uh, The terrain stays nice enough though, we might be able to make it there before dark. We just have to see. At least we got a little break from the wind. Man. Coming up at that ridge until it finally turned kind of behind this one. It was rough. A little bit of a view here. Hopefully the sun's not blinding you. Oh. I'm coming up that climb pretty quick. This is so cold. When we get over here, there is no wind. I may have to stop and take my hoodie off here shortly. It's a constant battle between trying to stay warm and cool. We're climbing up this little shady side. It's got a really nice view though. It's still a little breezy. I hadn't taken the hoodie off yet. I have the front end zipped and kind of opened up so. <sighs> that is a nice view though. Here's a spot where no trees in the way. All this side of the mountain's evergreens. All that's over there is hardwoods. We're crossing this road. The Blue Ridge Parkway is right up there. AT came out there. Uh, have a slight uphill. And three miles left to get to the shelter. It's like 400 foot of ascent between here and the shelter the next three miles. But we're going to go up here just a little and cross the Blue Ridge Parkway. And my AWOL guide tells me that there is a garbage can at that overlook. So that's the score. Get rid of a couple of days worth of trash. I don't have to carry that tomorrow.
And once we got down off that windy ridge, it warmed up as far as the wind blows, but it stayed cold now that the sun's going down. So I kept my hoodie on. Probably will leave it on until I get to the shelter. I haven't seen any other hikers today. I thought I might run into some of the ones that were hiking yesterday, but I don't know where they started today, so they could be ahead of me. We crested the top of our climb just in time to get a little view of the sunset. You know, there's a bunch of trees in the way, but maybe you can see a little bit of the pink off in the distance. And of course it's going to get windy. Maybe it won't stay windy. The trail will change course. But we should almost be to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'm going to stop and dump my garbage if there is a trash can. I'm guessing we're about a Two miles from shelter, and it's 5.15, so we should get there in the next hour. Won't have to hike too much with the headlamp, so that's good. My feet hurt a little bit today, but Surprisingly, they're doing better, but I'm still going to make a footwear change when I get to Daleville. I think it'd be the best for the long run. But of course, going back to regular hiking shoes will bring us a whole new set of problems, I'm sure. But like everything else in life, you just have to deal with it, address it, and move on. So I guess since we're so close to the shelter, I'll just call it a day here. As usual, if I see something that just needs to be recorded, I'll catch it. I don't know if the shelter will be empty or if there will be other hikers there. So, But you get a better look at the shelter and all when it's daylight. So We'll check that out in the morning. Not, overall, not a bad day. I just hope the uh, shelter is not on some super windy, exposed bridge or something like that. The last I checked, the weather is supposed to be in the high 20s tonight. So. High winds and 20 something degrees is it's not ideal when it comes to getting out of the hammock in the morning. got to the Blue Ridge Parkway overlook just in time. So got some nice sunset color. And the moon coming up up there. Not bad. And there is a trash can, so score. So 
So I made it to the Boblitz Gap shelter. That's uh, your typical shelter. And there was a fella and a lady walking out of here when I got here. Said there was some breakfast bars in the trail log. And that there is. But then I went to go collect water. Oop. The leave of the shelter a little too low. Got this convenient little spring right beside the shelter. And look at that. Six pack of Yuling. I'm not much for beer drinking, but I will come back and get one of them. Maybe two, I don't know. But to whoever held them in here and left them. Thank you much. And that's it for today.